The self-issue permits program allows certified carriers to issue their own single trip over dimension permits without prior analysis by ODOT staff. This video covers three different topics related to heavy haul weight tables. What are the different heavy haul weight tables? How do I determine which weight table to use? And can I get a permit when all weight tables are exceeded? The two most common heavy haul weight tables are what we call weight table three and weight table four. This is an example of a combination that makes the weights allowed in weight table three. Because this combination is hauling a single non-divisible load, up to 43,000 pounds is allowed on the tandem axles. In this case, all group axle spacings and weights conform to weight table three. The second example shows weight table four weights, which is allowed because the combination is hauling a single non-divisible load. All group axle spacings and weights conform to weight table four. One of the major differences between the two weight tables is on triple axle groups such as the trailer. In this case, 58,800 pounds is allowed on the triple axle group under weight table four. The difference between weight table three and weight table four is that weight table four allows more weight on less space, but there are more bridges and roads that cannot be traveled or require traffic control. In this example, the spacing between the three axles is eight feet, six inches. If this combination were trying to make the weights allowed on weight table three, only 48,000 pounds would be allowed on the triple axle group on the trailer. As a side note, there is no difference in cost of the permit based solely on the weight table required. To help determine weight tables, the public has free access to our weight calculator at OregonTruckingOnline.com. This program allows you to key your own axle spacings and weights and determine if the weights are legal, permittable, or not permittable. To touch on higher weight tables, Weight Table 5 permits allow up to 48,000 pounds on a tandem axle when hauling a single non-divisible item. A minimum of four consecutive sets of tandem axles are required, typically drive axles, Jeep, trailer, and booster. These moves require a single trip permit issued by ODOT staff. Weight Table 5 by formula permits allow up to 60,000 pounds on a tandem axle when hauling a single non-divisible load. The same requirement of at least four consecutive sets of tandem axles is required. In addition, the axles must be 10 feet wide and have eight tires per axle. These moves require a single trip permit issued by ODOT staff. Finally, weight table X or bridge review permits may be issued for moves that exceed all published weight tables. These are handled on a case by case basis by ODOT staff. These requests may take several days to get an approval and are sometimes denied. These moves require a single trip permit issued by ODOT staff.